when I began to climb first, I had no conscious fear at all. Now the greatest fear is that of being afraid. The mindless panic that any of us who climb badly know well. The hurried, feverish search for holes. The growing realization that there are no holes, or if there are, they cannot be seen. The free hand passing fruitless over bare rock, up and down, up and down over the same rock. Then in the instant before fall, the saving nick or the surge of body power that sweeps over the overhang. fallen. If I had, or if one can say it when I will, perhaps I will be less afraid. I doubt it. This is Glendalock, the upper end of the valley in County Wicklow, among some of the most difficult and challenging rock climbing in the whole of Ireland. The man you've just been listening to is a Dublin engineer, one of the 300 members of the Irish Mountaineering Club. But it's only about 20 years ago that serious mountain climbing ever started in Ireland. Before that, it was a long tradition of hill walking. Dedicated climbers used to go to the Alps, and then they realized that here in Ireland was a perfect training ground for men who afterwards would go and climb abroad. Today, all over Ireland, you'll find climbers in the hills, in the Wicklow Mountains and in the Mourns, in the Poison Glen and other parts of Donegal, in the Sperrins and Kerry, and of course, here in Glendalough. In the old days, mountaineers tended to be well-to-do, with plenty of leisure. Now, cheaper and better transport has opened the sport to everyone. Many climbers come from the youth hostel movement. Young people used to the open air, attracted by the challenge of the rocks. <laughs> 